Hey everybody, sorry for the delay. Welcome to Lunch Break Let's Play. What's up? Today, uh, Taylor's actually in the uh, driver's seat here. Yeah, We're not boy. gonna do it. We're, I think we'll play some Last of Us tomorrow. And uh, maybe tomorrow and just through the week to get caught up to epi through episode five of the show, uh, like we've been doing. But today, we figured to just hop on, hang out with you guys for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Taylor's gonna play uh, Fall Guys. Yeah. On uh, PS5. Uh huh. And uh, we'll just answer some of your questions here. So I finished my fast, but now I'm just on pure orange juice coming off of this. So getting my stomach uh, some practice. So I'm going to have some vegetable soup tonight. Just first, like Grandpa Joe. First solid since uh, January 31st. So oh, did I mess good. it up that I moved? Am I all no, good? You're right. Let me check your pip. Uh, I can fix your pip here. I'm sorry. So we got uh, about 122 people in the chat. Welcome, everybody. Wow, you guys all came to see me play with the beans. So what is Fall Guys, for those who don't know? <laughs> Fall Guys is... Am I allowed to cuss yet? Has it been more than eight seconds? Uh, it's been more than eight seconds. <laughs> it's a very fucked up game. Uh, this game gives me so much anger, so much rage. You guys think I'm just this really fun, nice, happy little guy on this channel. Oh, no. Okay, well, let me, let me start off by telling you guys, I play this game on my Xbox at home. So, I might suck right now because I have to get used to the PlayStation 5 controller. But, um, basically you're a bean. And there's different courses, like obstacle courses, races, um, survival games. And you just try and finish ahead of all the other beans. Right now I'm doing solo. But all these other beans are the enemy. Um, so... First question comes from Josh Becker that I can see. Jonathan, Shit. what uh, what jobs did you have before this one? Well, if you want to go way back, Lion Tamer. Uh, you know, I, I started out in like accounting and finance, so I worked in budgeting accounting for uh, Harmon Carden, and uh, then I worked in um, investments with MetLife, and then I made a big career change in my 30s and went to post production school and learned editing got uh, certified on Avid. One of my first jobs as an editor, I was working on a Hulu, sh Hulu show called uh, My Side of the Sky, which was like a reality teen show about these kids that were at this like snowboarding camp where they develop them to become pro. Um, so I was an assistant editor there. And shortly after that, John um, put out a listing for AMC looking for someone to fill in for Ray's old role. So it'd just be like cutting segments and doing some Photoshop work, so I did that. And then my role obviously expanded with AMC all the way up to uh, kind of a Predator role, which is producer-editor. Same with uh, Collider. Then uh, when Collider, um, actually, before I got to Collider, when AMC uh, kicked the bucket, I went over to the Fine Brothers oh, YouTube shit. channel. I hate this game. And I worked for uh, the React channel, and I was uh, one of the editors for all their gaming content at the React channel. So. I actually cut the last the Last of Us Let's Play, probably 60% of the episodes for that, and it was like 20 some episodes. So you can check that out on the React channel. You, um, and I did like their Five Nights at Freddy's, Four and Five, um, and a bunch of other games. Um, Elders Play Red Dead Redemption. But uh, then I got hired back with Collider. Was there for years as a Predator. And then uh, when that phased out, um john hired me for his solo show uh when he after he left collider and i went back and forth with a few roles for john um helped cut the uh well i did cut i edited his documentary um, um movie trailers a love story and uh oh, sure. we went over into the hollywood studio i don't know if you remember guys uh when the john campia show was at the studio over in hollywood i was the head of production there and then uh when we phased out from that period I did some work for the Kardashians and Jenners. Um, basically, I was their... Uh, the best description would be a uh, stage manager for uh, for them for a while. And then went back with John. So uh, that's kind of a quick wrap-up of my career. And then the monkey dude also asked why fasting. I was doing it for health reasons and just to, like a good reset on the system. Um, I just felt like I was having like, you know, just like issues of my gut and just certain foods just weren't oh this is where i lose weren't feeling great so uh i just decided to do a reset um 
and did it for four, did a two week fast. I feel great now. I lost 15 pounds. I was 215, oh, actually over 15 pounds. Damn. I was 215 now, I'm 199 and a half. Congratulations. Thank you. So enough about me. Uh, uh, let me just tell them about this game. This game's called Fruit Shoot. Uh -huh. And this game is fucked up. Uh, they just throw a bunch of fruit at you. And I, I can never, ever, ever place in this one. But well, I'm in first, so we'll see. Uh, Young Lambo writes, I want to see them play the new WWE 2K when it comes out. So there is one out. Is there a new one coming out this year? And, and the one that I saw was just from like last year. Oh, uh, shit. Young Lambo. Um, that might melon. be fun. A wrestling game, right? Just to screw around and answer questions. Yeah, remember someone made uh, John and Ray... Oh my god, you guys. Oh fuck, not only have I never finished in this game, and you beat but everybody. I came in first place. I beat all these other little beans. Fuck this bean. That's See, mir game. miracles do happen. I, demon I did it. On air. Live. Imagine we're not live. No, we're definitely live. You guys, I did it. By the way, I don't know if you can see my drink. Um, Ray got me this Annabelle tiki mug. It's so cute. Well, to me it's cute, but to everyone else I think it's spooky. Yeah, um, Ray, Ray got a bunch of people their uh, tiki mugs. He got me, a, I, I, I wanted a monster from the Black Lagoon. So oh, yeah. It's a green from the Black tiki. Lagoon. Wait, uh, you got, that's the one you got? Huh? That's the one you got? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's on my desk. That's, that's the one he got me. Uh, you know, I'll use it for the next lunch break let's play. Tomorrow we'll probably do the, uh, is this like a replay? Oh, so um, there's three of seven people have qualified. Beans have qualified so far. Oh, so you just gotcha. have to wait. You watch. You have to wait it out. But I can switch between them. This guy's not doing shit. But um, it's kind of fun to see all the different costumes right now because this is the first time I've ever played on this PlayStation and I'm not logged into my account from home. Um, I only have the basic thing, but pretty soon I'll be able to do different prints. There's different costumes and stuff. There's a lot of collaborations with like Disney and SpongeBob and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool to level up and unlock different characters. Yeah, and tomorrow, guys, we'll be doing the, uh, the we'll go, we'll get back into The Last of Us uh, Part 1 and catch up with, uh, it's gonna take a couple days, because there's a lot in the game, and the game, and the, the show kind of compressed it a lot, so it's gonna take a few days, maybe through the end of this week, of us playing The Last of Us Part 1 on Lunch Break Let's Plays, mm -hmm. where we catch up through Episode 5. But we'll take, we'll start that up tomorrow. Um, does Fall Guys have a decent player base? Yeah, um, they used to only have Fall Guys on PlayStation and Steam, I think. And then, I don't know how long ago, but maybe like, let's just say a year ago, they did cross-platform play, so now you could do it on the Xbox, on the Nintendo Switch, and basically all the people I'm playing with are playing from all different consoles, which is pretty fun. Oh, Kraken Slam, I made it to the final round. This guy's cute, little Kraken. Just can't wait to go to the... Because now that I've won some things, I'll probably unlock a couple different things so I can customize my bean. John would definitely rage at this game from Josh Cooper. <laughs> he probably would, but he'd have fun. It's a very fun game. It's just... Oh, it just makes me, like, very angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Where this little bitch at? Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Look at those tentacles. Yeah, you know, uh, Alan Gonzalez has played Smash Brothers. We haven't downloaded that yet. We, oh my god, I love well, Smash Brothers. My main is Kirby. Who's your main? I, You know, I never play it, but you know what's funny? Because I was talking about the Fine Brothers in, in our lunch in our lunch room uh -huh. at the Fine Brothers office. Like, they uh, basically like formed leagues over there for Super Smash Brothers. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they'd even play after work. But I never got into it. I just sat and ate and watched them. <laughs> Yeah, Smash Brothers is like one of my favorite video games. Uh, I've been playing like every night with David. We've been playing like five matches last night. It was David and I against, I think, six or seven um, Yoshi. It was so fun. We Josh, did all jo players. Josh Becker wants to know if you've ever won a crown. Yeah. Oh, shit. Here's the crown right now. This is so good. It can only well, go down. There's for timing. There. there you go. Yeah. It's just this is my first time playing it on a PlayStation, so I was nervous about it, but it's basically the same controls. Oh, I did it. Uh, yeah, and guys, the uh, the after show for the for the Last of Us episode five will be today at three p.m. Yeah, we'll be taking your super chats then, and uh, more goodness on the way. Oh, well, I'm putting crown emojis on Mr. the live 47, chat. Forty-seven, congratulates you. Thank you, thank you. Any plans for Valentine's Day? Uh, no, I don't. Um, 
Taylor? Um, well, we're gonna attempt to go to our favorite Thai food place when I get home tonight. Uh, it's just annoying because they don't take reservations, and I was like, even though it's Valentine's Day, and they're like, Man, yeah. I, I'm all about like going the day before holidays because the restaurants are empty, and you get the best seats, you get Ooh. great service. Yeah. Um, last night I went to Inkwell with David, the bar slash restaurant. Yeah. Burbank so, I was telling you about. What's funny is that's right by the Trader Joe's, and I was going to Trader Joe's with Laura, and, and we, I was like, oh, Inkwell, <laughs> that's new. I wonder is that if I wonder if that's any good. And then literally the next day, Chris and you were talking about yeah. that. Yeah. And um, you were saying, uh, you just said Amy's uh, boyfriend or, or her fiance, fiance mm -hmm. is a bartender there at Inkwell. So I want to check that out. It's so good. We split the burger, the macaroni and cheese. Uh, we each had a couple drinks and then we split like a hot brownie thing for dessert. I'm going to be green because of Shrek, you know. Oh, well, I guess Metroid dropped on uh, Switch too, huh? Yeah. Super Metroid? There's a few things with Metroid that they're doing. Uh, the other day was the Nintendo Direct. And one of them dropped instantly, and I think it was just like a remaster of something. But then they also did an announcement that they're going to bring back a bunch of the older Metroid games, like in the virtual console. So that's going to be really fun. We should get... Oh, yeah, we have that. So we, we can play that, too. Uh, Barack America, what happened to the Hogwarts stream? Can't find it. You know, unfortunately, we took that down. There was too many tech issues. You couldn't hear um, the characters in the game speaking. And then we spent half the time just trying to fix the audio issues and going back and resetting the PlayStation and trying to reset the computer. And yeah. There's so many breaks in the actual video. We'll probably do another Hogwarts, you know, maybe a lunch break let's play of Hogwarts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, Barack America, it just we had to take it down because it just wasn't up to our standards. Yeah, and the other thing that stuck too is towards the end, what what, what, what is it called, like the, the frame rate? was just And then, terrible. yeah, then the frame rate really started just like- On our capture card, right? Yeah, like on it just our started end. getting glitchy. It was dropping a lot of frames. Yeah, but it was fun when Ray was voicing all the different goblins. That was hilarious. Now, we think we might have fixed the issue with this computer. We thought, one, our Stream Deck was giving us issues and we had a faulty yeah. USB cable. Um, but on top of that, we were using like a USB dongle capture card from uh, Elgato and we decided to switch over to a second um, internal capture card. Mm -hmm. And so far, we haven't had the computer crashing yesterday or even today, so. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> this part always messes with me. I it's recommend, like... okay, so Late Night Alum says, I recommend playing River City Ransom on Switch in the classic section, fun times. Oh, nice. River City Ransom, what is that? Is that from like Switch or is it from an old console that you can play? Oh my like God. Port? Bitch. Okay. Sorry, my bean. My bean was slowing oh, no down. No worries, Brock. I mean, that's why we're here. We're not taking super chats. This is just a way of, you know, we're on, we're on our lunch break, uh, Pacific time. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, if you're elsewhere, you won't be on lunch break. But, uh, you know, maybe you can have a snack with us. My lunch is water. Save my lunch is orange juice. Tonight. So for once, I've eaten more than you guys. Yeah. This is fresh squeezed, by the way. My wife uh, squeezed these oranges for me. Hi, Laura. With our juicer. I still need to try her jello shots. Oh, yeah, those things are a legend. John Schnapp used to love those jello shots. Aw. Everyone at the Collider, like when we'd have Schmodowns, we'd make them and everyone would pass them around in the audience. Oh, that's fun. All the other Schmodown players. Dizzy Heights. This is the kind of lunch break I would love. Well, we do love it, young Lambo. Oh, Laura's in the live chat. Hello. Laura says they're layered. I know, they're layered and it's layered goodness. She also sometimes makes these champagne jello shots, which Ooh. are amazing. And if done right, you get like the bubbliness in the jello shot. Mm -hmm. It's great. I just love jello shots. I love getting white girl wasted on basic things like that. Oh, you know what's really good? In Vegas, you can get whipped cream that has alcohol in it. Um, very good. Sorry, I'm distracted by this. I wonder if I pop this window out. Shit. If screen capture would catch this. What's this in front of me? Did you see that little pervert beam? With the like red tentacle things? There's a little pervert in front of me. I'm gonna try something here, guys. Um... <laughs> oh no! Shit. Oh. At least I already won a crown, so if I suck the rest of the day, it's like, well, you guys saw I could do it. Bear with me, I'm just trying to add a shot here. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. A jello shot? 
Yeah, um, so we're gonna do... Where'd that pervert go? Navio capture device, window capture. We'll call it chat. Oh, fuck. Pop out. Oh my god. Oh and my. that. Yeah. Yeah, it worked! Oh, f come on, come on, come on, come on. Move, bitch. Oh, yeah. And that then was what a I'm close gonna one. do is take this. Whoa, I'm seeing what you're doing right now. And just resize it a little bit. Oh my god, yeah, young Lambo, my hair gets messed up when I'm drinking, especially if I don't have product in it. It just gets like. Oof. Uh, Randolph G, what up? This is Fall Guys. Oh, you can see my legs. Look at my legs. You, I wore shorts because, you know, no one ever sees our lower half. So I'm like, oh, I'll just wear comfy shorts. So there's my legs. Enjoy. Yeah, Anthony, I um, I like using pomade, but lately I've just been using gel because it's just so much easier. And I'm in a rush in the morning most of the time. What am I doing now? So bear with me, guys. I know this is like, but this is why we're here. We're just hanging out. Look at that. So now... What I can do. Oh, shit. And now we can see you guys over here. How about that? So this is a survival one. You got to stay away from these little balls that'll blow up in your face. Uh, so 12 people have to be eliminated. And so far, one has. All right, so I'm just going to catch up and see if there's any questions here, guys. Sorry, I was doing... Trying to get your questions on screen here. All right, uh... Can I tell everyone about what I'm doing tomorrow night? Laura says, hi, Taylor. I think you saw it, though. Hello, Laura. Um, checking in on... What game is this? So what game is this? This, this is called Fall, Fall, Fall Guys, yeah. right? Want to tell a little bit about it? So basically, you're a bunch of beans, and you go through different courses, whether it's a race or an elimination thing or an obstacle course. Right now, it's an elimination one. So these little balls, you can throw at people and try and make it blow up so they'll go flying off the stage. Um, but really quickly, I just want to tell you guys what I'm doing tomorrow because I am so excited. Tomorrow, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wednesday, February 15th, I will be at the Regal at LA Live uh, to see Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. But it's not just any screening because the composer, the cinematographer, and the actor who plays Winnie the Pooh will all be in attendance. So I'm very excited for this. And um, I'm actually going to try and get some interviews if I can. And post some stuff on my YouTube channel, so, oh yeah, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's Fifty Shades of Tay, the one I use in the live chat, um, and I am so excited for this. It's cool, because I tweeted out that I'm going, and the composer responded and said, can't wait to meet me, so I'm very excited for that. I've been hyping this movie up so much, I cannot wait. Um, Andrew Baker, or Baxter, sorry, writes, uh, hey Taylor, uh, what conventions are you looking forward to throughout the year? Do you, are you going to any conventions? Yeah, actually, oh my god, you guys, I'm so pissed. So I covered Pasadena Comic Con for my YouTube channel. It was like the most fun I've ever had. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but before I worked here, I was a journalism major. So I was doing a lot of journalism, like interviews and articles like that. But now that I have a channel, I've been doing them in video form instead of just writing them down. So I was, I felt in my element and I was having so much fun. And uh, so I made a list of upcoming conventions that I would be interested in. A lot of them are horror related. Um, like there's Monster Palooza, Son of Monster Palooza. Uh, there's one called like LA Horror Con. But I really wanted to do San Diego Comic Con and I wanted to do WonderCon. And I missed the deadline for press pass requests by like 24 hours. So I don't know that I'm going to be able to do either of those. But um, Monster Palooza is a really, really fun one. And I believe this year they're going to have both Jason and Freddy there. So Robert England and I think multiple Jasons will be there. So that one should be a really good time. Uh, um. So we get uh, some other questions. How many horror? Oh, well, how many horror T-shirts do you own? Randolph G wants to know. Oh my God! Probably like a thousand. I I have so many because every time I see a horror movie, I'm trying to get a, fuck. Okay, I'm trying to get a Megan T-shirt. Uh, because I have one for Terrifier, I have multiple Scream shirts, but I really want a Megan shirt. And uh, I was just at Universal Studios the other day and I saw one in the store window front. 
but I forgot to go get it on my way out. So next time I go to Universal, I'm going to go get that Megan shirt. Also, I'm not sure why the game screen is like, it was all blown up like that. So let me get you the actual full screen here. There we go. Sorry, guys. In that in this uh, chat window, that was way blown up for some reason. Probably because we installed the new capture card, so it was reading it in a different format. Um, so we got the conventions question. We got that. Uh, anticipated horror movies coming out in the next few years. Okay. I'm backing out, just, just so people know, I'm backing out because I got eliminated last match. Um, and I'm going to customize my guy a little bit. Horror movies that I'm looking forward to, was it this year? Well, the next few years. The next few, next okay, so years. Scream 6, definitely. I have my ticket, and to that I'm going to a fan screening uh, where they're going to give out this really cool poster. Jonathan, I showed you that poster, right? Yeah. God, that poster is so sick in Times Square. Uh, I would say Cocaine Bear, probably, it's not like a traditional horror movie, but... I would count it as horror. I think that one looks so fun. And the fact that it's going to be Ray Liotta's last film, or at least one of his very last films. Right. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, CJ Rebirth question. Will either of you be be at John's event? I will be there. I've got to hold the phone to, to record the stream. <laughs> so, yeah, I will be there Sunday at Flappers. Nice. nice. Um, I'm not sure if Taylor will be or not. I'm not sure. I'm sure, not sure. Um... Let me see. What else we got here? Is anyone else going to go see Blood and Honey tomorrow night? Yeah, we need the poo killing people, man. It's... I just, I hope he has his sawed off shotgun. I really hope. He just shoots a woozle. Were you, so, late night alum asked Jonathan, were you with the Fine Brothers when they had Poppy as a guest for Kids React twice? If yes, you did work with her. Or, or if yes, did you work with her and how was she? I might have been there, but I didn't work uh in the in the film in the in the rooms where there was she on stage um and i didn't do they were moving me over to kids react videos but then before i took on that realm and, and added like kids react to all of the let's play stuff and the gaming stuff i was doing i ended up taking the offer uh, that collider offered me so no i didn't work with her unfortunately man sorry also i want to so I switched over to squads, uh, so it's not just me. There. I like doing squads my sometimes. Cursor. All right. Ant Man. All right. ZZ Ozzy writes, Ant Man reviews killed my enthusiasm to watch the movie. Well, it didn't kill. Him. I'm still gonna go watch it. Yeah. And judge for myself, but uh, I understand. I'm just trying to avoid spoilers, so I'm not even reading anything. Um, but I had a couple friends that were at the premiere, and they weren't thrilled with it, but they also didn't hate it. So I'm just cautiously optimistic for this but i'll be seeing it thursday thursday night kenneth colton wants to know if you'll be his valentine oh yeah i i forgot this morning i was like so distracted by my blood and honey tickets is it kenneth cole or kenneth colton it's colton not cole i don't I think kenneth cole uh brand of shoes clothes. yeah and i think i just said oh, no. that as i read it i don't know why oh it's okay um i was gonna i was gonna ask one of the poo to be my valentine uh, producer Jonathan, when will we see you in Sonic 3 or 4 as Donut Lord Brother? I have no idea. They haven't cast me. Wait, why? Who's that? I have no idea. But they didn't <laughs> cast me. <laughs> Is that the guy, like, his henchman? Maybe. Donut Lord? I don't I'd remember. I have to look that up. Where's Campia? Campia is in his office doing Campia stuff. We're just in here doing, uh, you know. Playing with beans. <laughs> yeah. Come on. See if I can make this. I feel like I've been keeping it pretty calm. Oh shit! I, I was not paying attention. Yeah, but I feel yeah. like uh, you guys haven't seen the frustration come out. I've been doing okay. God damn it! Oh, sorry. What the hell is this shit? Okay. 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 All right. Oh my god. Cocaine bear CGI looks awful to me. But you know, I don't think it's really meant to look. Oh, uh, that's a real bear. Of... Yeah, that's a real bear, so there you go. That's and why the CGI stuff. looks awful to you. Uh, <clears throat> there's going to be stream. Yeah, there's going to be a stream. We're streaming. This is what you get. Uh, let's see, any more questions? Oh, look at this one. Here? It's got a mullet. 
Really? Okay, so Young Lambo writes, Ray Liotta just fit the voice role in GTA Vice City. Man, I used to love Vice City. Mm. There was a period in my life where uh, I was laid off from... Um, I worked in Pasadena. It was uh, Western Asset Western Asset Financial. I got laid off there. It was one of my first finance jobs out of college. And uh, I spent like months just living high on the hog <laughs> on 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 uh on uh what do you call it unemployment and play vice city and would go over to arclight hollywood and go see movies it was great god i miss that arclight and then i got it as soon as it it ran out my uh unemployment i got a job the next very next day at harmony carden that arclight in pasadena is just sitting there empty and i hope that someone now is the dome still opposite. closed though uh, oh, the one in Hollywood. Um, yeah, is the dome attachment closed, or is it is it all of it? Oh, sorry, closed? I was talking about the Pasadena location. Oh, uh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. the Hollywood one. I could have sworn someone bought it a while ago, but I haven't, mm. I haven't been over there in a while. Um, this one's really fun. Stomping ground. You have to avoid these rhinos. They try and knock you out of here. Let's see what else we got here. Shit. Mr. 47 always judge me pretty self, I agree. Yeah, definitely. Wesley Namila, hello, Campy Crew. When you are going to make a bring on the when are you gonna bring make a bring on the filthy short film? It can be campfire of short stories. Well, maybe uh John would like to do that. Well, maybe right when we finish with Pickle My Foot. Uh Anthony uh Manzano oh, asked both of us, Jonathan. Oh, shit. Asked uh Jonathan and Taylor, do you guys think fans overreact to critic reviews? movies instead of watching the movie themselves but here's the thing okay on one hand everybody's like oh what do critics know about these movies anyway it's all about like the what the fans like or what or what the audience like right and then and then at the same time they're like oh well the critic ratings are bad so i don't think i want to see it so like which is it are you going to believe the critics are you going to believe the audience are you going to believe yourself i say believe yourself you know Um, R. Wicks, really, it killed your excitement. For me, Eternals was a bomb, or was the bomb. Just remember the MCU films you liked uh, that got poorly reviewed by critics. This could be another banger. Yeah, you never know, R. Wicks, exactly. Judge for yourself. Uh, let's see, we got... Um, Wait, did we get eliminated? I wasn't paying attention. Just Grogu, oh, yeah, producer Jonathan is Ray a Hufflepuff. He might be. I can't remember exactly the personalities and all the traits for the different houses. I gotta think about that. What do you guys think I am? And Taylor. Oh, Taylor's shit. Taylor's a Hufflepuff. I'm a Slytherin, because I'm a sneaky You are bitch. a Slytherin. Yeah, I know, I'm a little sneak. You know what? Sneak. Uh, everyone wants to say they're Gryffindor, because it's just like, that's the heroic one, God, I but- I want more customization. Who knows? Here. Who knows? Mm -hmm. um, I'll do another squad show, and then I'll switch back to solo. It just sucks because at home, like with my account at home, I have like dozens of different customizations, but you have to level up to get them. But at least I have the sharks. The shark skin is cool. I got to play. I got to play Fortnite here. You guys would love it. I have so many cool skins in that, especially movie related ones, like every Marvel one, every Star Wars one. The Xenomorph skin is like one of my favorites to play as. I got it. You know what? Ever since I started working here, people have been asking me for my gamer tag to play Fortnite with me. I think I think this weekend I just I post it and just let everyone squad up with me because that'd be so much fun. Uh, JG from Space writes, I feel like a lot of people consider something as bad CG just because they can tell it's CG. Well, in a way, I mean, you're going to know things are CG if they're out in space and you're watching a fantasy movie or there's a dragon or whatever. You're going to know. But if you're looking at it, you're like, that feels like it's separated from everything else on screen. It doesn't feel like it's fitting in. Are we talking about the bear still? No, I don't know. Cocaine Just in bear? general. Okay. But to your point, you know, bad editing is editing you notice, right? But sometimes you want, you want the editing to be noticed. So it just depends on what you're trying to convey. Do you think anyone has recut the trailers for Cocaine Bear, but with that live action Yogi Bear movie that came out a few years ago? I don't know. If they haven't, someone should get on that. I'll learn. I could teach you editing. You oh, please, please. Zach says he's a, a Ravenclaw. Me? Another Ravenclaw. No, he's saying oh, he, he is. he is. Okay. Mega Chris says that they are Ravenclaw. Now, 
Ravenclaw sounds cool. What? Okay, so Anthony Manzano mm -hmm. writes, Jonathan is a Ravenclaw, John is a Gryffindor, Rob is a Hufflepuff, Chris is a Ravenclaw, Taylor is a Hufflepuff. Shit. Shit. So, I always thought Ravenclaw sounded cool, so I'll take it, but I don't really know the traits. Mm -hmm. But uh, John, actually, he said he's actually tested Slytherin before, so it's hard to say. Um... But so Ravenclaw, if you guys have some info on that, what what is that? Why why am I Ravenclaw? And why is Taylor a Hufflepuff? Yet just a sub says Taylor's a Ravenclaw, so Oh yeah? What are the Ravenclaw traits and what are the Hufflepuff traits? If you guys know them, drop them in here. Uh CJ Rebirth, do you uh, do you think you'll ever meet your counterpart, aka Dan uh Levy someday Taylor? Oh my god, I hope. It's so funny because uh ever since that show came out. Or like when it was really popular in like 2020, every single person I knew was like, oh, you gotta watch this show. And I was like, yeah, I watch it and I love it. I would love to meet him, uh, mainly just to like do a, uh, like a picture of us wearing the same outfit and see if anyone could tell us apart. But I just feel like I would be very good friends with him. Uh, ZZ Ozzy, Ravenclaw's intelligence. Well, I'll take it. I'll take intelligence, thank you. What the hell's that? Uh, Ravenclaw, smart academics. Um, Josh Becker, Jonathan Taylor, what's your most anticipated movie this year? Oof. This so, year? Yeah. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to look. But if you give me some options, I can tell you, like, out of those options. All right, well, I'll bring up, I'll bring up a list here. And okay. We'll go through that. Dr. Stinky says, how excited are you for Ant-Man? Um, I love the promos. Look, it looks amazing. Yes, it does. Um, I am excited for it. And you know, I'm one of those that didn't hate. The last um, Thor, I get why people had issues with it. I didn't hate it. Mm. I was okay with it. So I think I'll probably be okay with this, or I might like it. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for anything until I can see it for myself. Then I'll make my own decision, as all you guys should too. All right. Uh, uh, Wesley Nemeth, producer Jonathan and Taylor, who is your favorite artist or, or celebrity that want to meet? But you've not met yet. Oh, not met yet? Well, actually, Jonathan, do you remember like a couple weeks ago, someone I did meet, I put up that picture of Lady Gaga kissing me and everyone made fun of my hair. That's mm -hmm. fine, that's fine. But someone that I haven't met yet, I'm so bummed because I won tickets to meet her, uh, is Britney Spears. She's one of my favorite people on the planet. Um, but it was at an MTV interview and it was after the whole incident. And the guy who was interviewing her kept asking her questions that were making her uncomfortable. And during the commercial break, she asked him uh, to change the subject and not like politely not to talk about, you know, that that part of her life. And they didn't stop. Uh, so she left and the people who won the tickets to meet her didn't get to meet her after. So that was a that was a bummer. But I would love to meet her and uh, say hello. I don't know if I have anyone in particular that I haven't met. I'd rather, instead of meeting someone, I'd rather work with a celebrity that I want to meet. Oh, so, nice. Because, because other than that, you just feel like your t their time is pressed and they're just being nice. But if you're working with them, it's a different level. And they let you in on a different level, too. And you let them in on a different level. Your colleagues, you know? Uh, I'll work with Dan Levy on something. There you go. So don't don't meet him. Work with him. Yeah, I'll work with him. Um, I have met Keanu Reeves and uh, talked with him at... Uh, at length, I was at the Troubadour years ago. There was this uh, musician playing Rachel Yamagata. I remember the night, and John, uh, John uh, Keanu Reeves was uh, sitting at the bar, one of the bars. I think it was the front bar, and uh, we just oh shit! Talked. Look at this guy in front of me. I know, little bitch. Photo finish. Fuck this guy. And oh hell yeah! Me, one of my friends, Dean, and him, we just talked and talked. He asked us about our like our lives and like our career and what we did and all this and. Um, it was really cool. Like I've told this story before on on, on the show, uh, when when we were gonna like go back into the main room, um, the stage was. He asked he asked me, uh, what are five like bands you're listening to right now? Because we were talking about music and stuff. So I wrote down <laughs> I wrote down four, and then the fifth one I wrote Wild Stallions, and I just left it with him. I never saw his reaction. Um, let's see what else we got. I don't know, but um, I came in first again, so I feel like this is pretty lit. I like the biking one. There's a little Kraken guy. Look at the hot dog. 
Uh, Anthony Manzano writes, Jonathan, who would be the best director for a biopic on Admiral Nimitz during the Battle of the Pacific? Man. Maybe Steven Spielberg, honestly. Um, has he, he's done some great World War II war epic, right? So he's got the experience. I think you need someone who's kind of like older and has had some kind of experience with people that lived in that era. And uh, I think it brings a certain amount of empathy to that and understanding. So I'd want an, I'd want an older director, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the greats, if you're just asking me. Um, Antonis uh, Kulis writes, Hey, Jonathan Taylor, I personally love the new trailers for Indy 5 and Flash. Mm -hmm. Are you guys excited to see those two films on the big screen? Uh, and what I'm actually, and what did you think of the Super Bowl trailers? Well, I'm more excited for the Flash uh, than Indy. I'm going in with uh, some hesitation. What about you? Uh, Indy, I mean. For Indiana Jones, I'm very nervous, but very excited. Uh, for the Flash, this trailer that they put out with the Super Bowl with Michael Keaton, I went home after the game uh, and watched it like three more times just to see Michael Keaton. I love Michael Keaton as Batman. He's my favorite Batman. Fuck this. What the hell is this shit? Um, what? What was this thing? I'm very excited for the Flash, but for Michael Keaton. And Indiana Jones, yeah, I'm excited. I just, you never know. I'm scared. It's because I love the property so much. Um, what do we got here? Late Night Alarm. Question for Jonathan. Did Hot Rod get Optimus Prime killed or did Prime kill, or did Prime kill Prime? Prime kill Prime. Hit. Arwix. Oh, oh my god. Two. I find that a lot of MCU films get better over time. I find the MCU actively tries to include these details when making the next movie. Just like Age of Ultron, little details turn into significant connections for rewatch re and retro watching. I do agree with you. Uh, how often in, in Phase 2 was everyone saying, well, this sucks, you know, um, Iron Man 2 sucked. Well, I think that was still Phase 1. But people didn't really like what Iron Man 3 that much. Thor 2. Um, and, and although Thor 2 still like, you know has thing? its issues, yeah, you do right. I would say when you go back and rewatch it, it really did tie in with the overall um, uh, Infinity Stone saga. And the same goes for Age of Ultron. I didn't particularly like the directing in Age of Ultron and some choices that were made, but I agree with you. Uh, there are details that when you look back, you're like, oh, this explains so much. Um, Welcome to the room, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Ray Ora. here. Fun. Producers, Jonathan Taylor, if you could make a dream movie, what would it be about? Ooh, for me, I would want to make a horror film. Um, but I would want to make it original. I wouldn't want to, like do an existing IP and make it horror. Fuck, I suck at this one. Mm. But, oh, Ray, really quickly. Uh, I have won a crown already, and I have placed first twice. This wow. is it. I know, I was nervous because I don't ever play on the PlayStation 5. So I was like, oh, am I going to be good or bad? Um, I have a hard time. I don't want to jinx it, but so far I've been pretty good. I have a hard right, time just... getting first place in this game. Wow. Uh, well, oh, yeah, sorry about making a, a movie. I would want to make an original yeah, horror film. Right here definitely a slasher film mm -hmm. and i want to be in it as well mine obviously i have to go back to thundercat oh yeah i want thundercat live me. action mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. god this one's already tough but then they throw fruit at you too and it's just like what the hell uh, you guys remember madam blueberry what do you think she's doing right now Exactly. Do you know what's crazy? When I get up and I get static electricity. Shit! Shit! Oh my god! Oh, come yeah, on. I was bragging about how good I've been doing. Man, I had that on full screen too. So check this out. This is kind of a weird thing. I get up and I get static electricity, uh -huh. and when I touch the stream deck, it like goes Ooh. like I get a shock. But the stream deck, the screen goes black. It goes out. Really? And then it boots back up. This is your superpower origin story. I don't think that's great that I'm crashing the stream deck every time I touch it and shock yeah. it. My legs are asleep. I've been sitting on my legs crossed. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if he's going to play. He's welcome to. Mm -mm. You want to take over? Mm. You guys, okay, so ZZ Ozzy writes, and sorry, I missed a couple because I was uh, getting uh, Ray framed up here. Um, and also, I don't know if I have a dream movie to make, but maybe a World War One epic. Um, oh, I'm going to get that John, Did you ever see Dunkirk? Yes. Did you, what do you think about it? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, I, loved I, I actually thought about doing a like super cut movie of Dunkirk and uh, Our Finest Hour. That was the one with uh, 
uh, Gary Oldman in it, mm -hmm. and doing a super cut of that. Yeah, you know, the best part about Dunkirk was when the tension of, like, you were listening for planes to fly over. Just the way uh, uh, Christopher Nolan did that, I thought it was awesome. It was like... Mm -hmm. And then you would not know if they're going to bomb or not. Yep. It's such a good movie. Uh, Black Bone of Lala writes, yes, Fall Guys. So I guess he's a fan of... Oh, uh, yeah. Are they a fan of that? Uh... Yes, rappers. I should play Among Us. Uh, oh, guess what I got the other day? What? I finally got my Fall Guy action figure that came in. Oh, I didn't know they had them. Yeah, they're like a big one. I got the green one that's, and he comes with the hot dog suit. Oh, are you oh, Mike, right? cool. Yeah, yeah. I okay. got my mic. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Okay. Um, at Target, I saw they had the Among Us characters. I haven't played that, that game yet. They're like this big. Um, Can someone explain to me what Among Us is? Yeah, it's like a, like a... I know there's different there, there's different colors, right? <laughs> you can't, can you? I, how do you describe? It's really fun, but it's like you're supposed to um, do tasks, and someone's the killer, and they go around killing people while you're doing tasks, and you have to guess who it is. I don't know why I just like spaced out, but I love I love Among Us. I just haven't played it in a long time because I feel like everyone I played with kind of fell off that game, and then you know. But uh, with the last screen movie, they added Ghostface as a character, like a costume you could wear. Fuck. Mm. Remember when I was like, oh, you guys, I'm hot shit at this game. And then Ray came in and now I'm nervous. And hey, uh, the, we have a serious question for you, uh, Taylor. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it Is comes it from Do Dominic Suma. Uh -huh. Who wins in a fight, Shrek or John Wick? Shrek. Wow. There's no... Well, he gets a hands the on... Shrek Rumble game? But mm. the thing is, Shrek can—I mean, Wick can just shoot him from a distance. But if, if Shrek gets him close up, it's over. It's like the—it's like the—it's like the it's like the, uh, the bloater in if, Last of Us Episode Five. Yeah, if we're talking about Shrek in real life, this dude is probably massive and yeah. super strong. And he's really quiet when he tiptoes from behind. So, um, um, <laughs> Doctor Stinky wants to know, Jonathan, what's your favorite movie ever? I don't know that I have a favorite movie ever, right? But I can give you some ones that are at the top. I love movies like Train Spotting. I love Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Um, I love Casablanca, classic film. So one of that's probably I'll just say Casablanca. Okay. It's probably my number one classic film. Um, and then oh, there's a Xenomorph playing with me. See him? You know, I love like grew up on Star Wars and everything else, like fandom, right? But. But sure, you know, I, I'd say that uh, Holly, Holly, uh, L.A. Confidential, one of my top films. Yeah. What Wait, what you are guys? You? I was going to say a better way to rephrase that question would be if you were dropped off on the island where you had to live for three months mm -hmm. yeah. and you can only bring one movie, mm -hmm. what movie would it be? Only one. Yeah, Casablanca. You, wow. That, I, know, I would never guess. I would pick something fun. I don't know what fun, but long. Uh -huh. Uh, what island is it? Are there crabs? Maybe. Next question. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, if I could only pick one movie, fuck. I, I would want to pick like five, but I'm leaning towards Chicago. That movie's lit. Wow. I would never guess you guys would pick those movies as one that you would watch uh, over and over again if yeah. you had to. I could watch that movie all That's day. Every day. I, mean, I used to do uh, movie nights at my place. I should start those again soon, but uh, um. I, li I think I stream I think I did screen Casablanca like at least two or three times. I would do it. I do a double feature. Everyone knows mine. It would be The Martian. Is it this one? I'm yeah, gonna follow Sonic. Great. Sonic went through here. Oh yeah, there he is. Uh, Jonathan, I'm not sure. Okay, so Anthony Manzano, I'm not sure if you have seen the movie that was directed by George Clooney called Good Night and Good Luck. That was based on uh, uh, Edward R. Morrow. You know, I know the movie. Shit. And I've when seen parts of it, but I haven't seen so all this of one? it. I haven't seen all Oh, hell movies. yeah. Have you guys seen Good Night and Good Luck? It was a black and white film. Mm -hmm. No, but it sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh, this is Xenomorph. Haunted Autumn. Jonathan, what did you think of T2 Train Spotting? I thought it was one of the better sequels ever oh, made. I agree. Uh, I, I was a little trepidatious, but I agree. Look at the little Xenomorph. <laughs> and I just love the soundtrack from Train Spotting, too. You like Underworld and, mm -hmm. and uh, New Order and all that. Oh, you know what? Have you guys ever seen 24 Hour Party People? No. That's another one. I love that movie. 24 Hour Party People. Steve Coogan. I've heard of that movie. Well, good job, Tyler. Oh, right now this is just um, yeah. like uh. No, I know. You yeah. you already passed the course. What is it called? <laughs> like watching people, but what? Spectating. There we go. It's a big word. Look at those guys' mullet. 
So has this been what you've been playing the whole time? Yeah, yeah. because I was too uh, embarrassed to play the last of us. Yeah, tomorrow, of tomorrow I'll be uh, on deck and I'll be playing um, the last of us part one, and we'll probably play that two or three times this week, guys. Yeah. Because uh, we want to catch up through episode five on on the, the series, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of gameplay where we're at. You know what sucks today? Huh? My mom loves Mrs. Fields cookies, and that means I would have to go to the mall in order to get her a Valentine's thing. And I dread going to the have mall. Have you ever I, seen the big cookie? That or they whatever have? they have left, yeah. probably. Uh, yeah, that's I gotta. That's what I gotta oh, get. Just out of curiosity, Ray, did you ever, for everyone to hear, did you set the? Um, did you oh set no, the I event? didn't. No, I didn't. What time does it? It's one fifty right now. We're going live again at three. Yeah. We have an hour. Oh, yeah, we got... No, I'll, yeah, get, okay. I'll, I'll get on out of here at 2 o'clock. Right. At I'll 2 o'clock, just remind me. Yeah, so we'll set up the next show, guys. We're going to break here in like 10 minutes, but... Uh, and, what, and what does it... What time does the show Three. Start? Three o'clock. So it, it'll be for The Last of Us spoiler uh, review. Perfect so. timing, because Taylor's about to win this first place, right, Taylor? Am I? I don't know. I've had to... You're in the top lives. 15? Come on. Yeah, let's do it. Block party. Get that crown. These little bitches. How many of you guys are gonna join us uh, at three o'clock for the after show? I'll join. Oh, it'll, it'll be. <laughs> well, I meant, I, I meant, I meant uh, in the the chat. I might be around. <laughs> I'll probably stick it out. Yeah, you're gonna be running it. So, yeah. by the way, I trained ground. this guy right here. Yeah. He knew and nothing about production. I didn't even know what a camera was. And I have, I have trained him. Yeah. To you run, it up so to fast. run shows and the other behind the scenes stuff. He's gonna be running the after show. Well, yeah, boy. Put it this way, Jonathan is still training me. These mountains, <laughs> these mountains kind of look yeah, like. Yeah, but a, on Photoshop, man. No. I don't even like. No. You could train me for like weeks on Photoshop, Where's but you shit? know. Kind of gobbledygook. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. These mountains remind me of the Sir Mix-a-Lot music video. Do you know what you're trying to talk hey, about? Hey, pay this? attention, man! I want you to win. <laughs> hey, me. Oh yeah? Stop, don't look over here. Look at that. Go, go, go. Wow, Ray is like perfectly framed in the pit. Didn't even have to move him. Go, 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 go. This one's easy. I mean, I don't want to say that, but look at you Sonic. You just said I, it. I know, I don't want to say that. Right, move. Oh, shit. This one's so easy. All right, King Arthur, or King Ethan, sorry about that. We'll see you at, we'll see you at the after show. Yeah, I'll be there, I think. It'll be, it'll be a little um, um, uh, interesting to see because the, the show came out like it's, oh, well, shit. it seems like a long time ago. Yeah. To see if people still want to talk about it. Because it came out when? Dominic? Friday? Yeah, Friday. People get my name uh, wrong all the time. Boy? He is silent. Boyko. Oh. I thought you said But you know, like when I'm talking to like telemarketers or just like if I call customer service, they're like, Mr. Boyatico? You know what I get a lot when I call like, you know, to make sure my car payments don't get they're charged like, give anymore? They give us more money. They go, um, well, I don't know how they do it, but they ask if like they, they're expecting a girl because of my name being Taylor. And I go, what's Taylor up? Taylor can be a guy or a girl. What's up, bitch? And then I have to correct them that, you know. Oh my God, I'm a man with a deep, deep oh. voice. What up? Good. Look at this shit. Oh, shit. Remember when I said I wasn't Dr. Stinky wants to know uh, what show, uh -huh. what like series we'd bring on an island. Oh, uh, well, I would bring Star Trek, though. I hate to say, island. I hate to say it'd be The Office. I, I can't. I don't think that's a hate to say. I'm just saying because it's all on TV all the time, right? Yeah. So, and I always watch it. I don't know why. That or like South Park. I would bring. Boy, maybe Seinfeld. I'd bring. Oh, Seinfeld. you know what? Honestly, if it's only four, because he said four months, we're not stranded forever. Oh. I'd bring Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, that show's lit. Do you guys know about Curb Your Enthusiasm? About the episode where they got the guy off for murder because mm -hmm. he was yeah the. Dodger Stadium. Yeah, and he there's was on a documentary camera. about it on. He was on, on the show because they caught him on camera, so he was he couldn't have been the murderer. Right. Also, also, um, if we're talking about shows I haven't seen, I would definitely bring either Game of Thrones, the the original Game of Thrones, because I haven't seen it, uh -huh. or maybe something like the Clone Wars. Maybe I don't know. Get a little of my Star Wars. Uh, Matt Sanders says Breaking Bad. Um, I would need something long. Matt Sanders says four months, Smallville, something that would last four months. Six Feet Under from Haunted Autumn. I'd never watched Six Feet Under. There's a lot of shows I haven't watched that. Breaking that... Bad, my story is I, I started it one night. I called in sick the next day because I finished it. <laughs> well, that... went up to season five. Wow. <laughs> the animated or the anime show that's a thousand episodes, is it One Piece? 
Is that the show? I would I would bring that because a thousand episodes would last me four mm-hmm. months. Simpsons, Bob's Burger. You know, I've never seen Bob's Burger, but I did take. Uh, oh, the movie's so. I good. did take one of my girls to Shit. see uh, the movie. Yeah, the movie's really cute. Speaking of Simpsons, there's a company called Super Seven that's been doing Simpsons action figures. Yesterday, they revealed the guy who looked like Mike Tyson. What was his name? Diedrich, oh my God, Diedrich something. I ordered them right away. That's so I had cool. To. I'm not. A, I'm not even that big of a Simpsons fan. Uh-huh. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, "That's Mike Tyson in Simpsons form." Uh, so I ordered it. <laughs> a few years ago, I went to a, a log cabin with some friends, and we were like snowed in. And it was during the Simpsons 600 uh, marathon on like FX, and we watched so much Simpsons in that log cabin. That Simpsons movie wasn't that bad either. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, we're going to be with you like five more minutes. Wait, we got to see if I win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we'll be here like five more minutes and then oh, officially shit. five more minutes, but it has to go a little further to see Taylor yeah. win. We'll, we'll, we'll hang mm-hmm. out with you guys. Shit. It's just between me and this little bitch. Oh, and that bitch. Oh, my God. Get Come out on. of here. No, no, no. Get out my swamp. TJCS. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And there were two. No, three still. I have oh. to be so bad. Don't. Think How about that. Don't think about the pee. Yeah, no, it's the no, it's fine. Just, oh, don't see it. Stop uh, that bitch. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. What? That guy's What's dead. Yeah, you say it. You're down to two. Die. Yeah. Just die. Then there uh, two. Oh, oh. He, he died. No. No, this guy. Oh, my God. I have to pee just so bad. Just tell him we're streaming. Where's the timer? I don't see the timer. There's no timer. It's just till he dies. Oh. We're telling him we're streaming. And oh. he Oh, my God. If I win, my dad will come back. Okay. Okay. Well, we just lost. <laughs> I killed myself on purpose. I, 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 I. Oh! God damn it. I tried. I tried. That joke was got so you. good. Yeah. This oh, one. yeah. Key Earthworm 3429. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. Damn. I tried. That was so exciting. I, I want a little. To again. Like there's a little <laughs> bit of pee. Look at all that shit I got, though. Nice. All right, guys. So uh, I guess should we just wrap mm-hmm. wrapping up? Mm-hmm. Talk? Yeah, but I had a heart palpitation. Oh, look, I got my hat. That's worth it. All right, so we'll see you guys in about <laughs> uh, in about an hour for the Last of Us uh, episode five uh, yeah. spoilers reaction. Uh, Ray's gonna set that, or I'll yeah, set the I'll event set uh, right now. So we'll see that popping up, mm-hmm. and uh, you can continue that the the chatting over there, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for joining us.